Welcome to Get Your Armies Off Our Bodies, a podcast by Wage Peace. So good you could join us. I'm Zelda, and our last episode shared stories from Afghanistan, from Mujib Abid and Matthew Ho. There's another story we really wanted to share. Think of it as a bonus or an extra. War destroys trust and breaks down society and over five decades of war in Afghanistan, it has divided the country between the different ethnic groups. Hi, I'm Dr. Hakim Yang and I worked as a public health care worker and a peace builder with a local Afghan uh, peace group from 2004 to 2020. War is a mindset. Dr. Young is talking about the Afghan Peace Volunteers, a peace movement in Kabul in the middle of the war. The book Kabul Peace House by Mark Isaacs tells that story. And if you haven't read it, please do. It's wonderful. The mission of the group uh, as they came together over the years was to build an alternative to the war system. And they had gradually enunciated that or envisioned that as building a green, equal and non-violent world without war. Yeah, it was so interesting uh, and a privilege for me to see how these young friends of mine courageously decided to live together and they were from different ethnic groups. They were not doing what other others in the country uh, seemed to be doing for a long time already, which was distrusting each other, keeping each other's territory maybe, and not willing to take the risk in building peaceful relationships. It was a bit of an experiment. <laughs> it wasn't easy. <laughs> It wasn't all rosy. Uh, of course, working together has its usual tensions and friction, but they were willing to work it out. You know, the war was still going on, and each time there was a militant attack or some incident, it again put doubts into the minds of the young peace builders. Oh, can I trust this person? Didn't one ethnic group just attack another? So in terms of those relationships um, that were being built, I think trust is key. So when they thought of practical things they could do to build peaceful relationships, the community brought together uh, f a, a group of the street kids and built a program with the aim and stated vision of encouraging and nurturing them to be better human beings. The lessons were on nonviolence, which was something, the word was new to the street kids. The idea of peace is not new. And then some of the practices that the volunteer teachers would share with the street kids were wonderful. Most of our group members are still in Afghanistan. They've had to band together as a family to figure out how to survive and to be reasonably well in the midst of war in Afghanistan. For some of our group members I know have taken the refugee road, that itself is not an easy one. <laughs> There's quite a lot of cynicism across the world today. <laughs> and because there is that, I think that it's important for small groups of people, including just two friends or a family, to demonstrate that there 
is an alternative to this. We do not know, and no individual can control, the larger societal change. What we can do on the day-to-day -day level is what we choose to do to build alternatives to our current way of life. However, the people who build those practices in their small communities also had to be at peace with the fact that we are a small group currently. I've encountered small groups of people in other war zones as well who show that it's possible. My Afghan friends would often say that what we are working towards is not something that we would see in our, our lifetime, but certainly in the future for the future generations, for their children. And I think that's really wonderful to be able to do what we can now and value that change that we see within ourselves and our community, hold and support one another towards it, because that's a much better alternative than the current war systems. The Taliban takeover of Kabul is not the end of the story, not for the peace volunteers and not for Afghanistan. It's a continuation. The peace volunteers were in the middle of a war before and they are still in that war today. That war still needs to end. This has been Get Your Armies Off Our Bodies, the first season of Peace Pod. This episode was produced on unceded Aboriginal country on the continent known as Australia. All production credits and other links are in the show notes. I'm Zelda and we're Wage Peace, wishing you a future of earth care, not warfare. <laughs>